Welcome. Today we are going to study about present perfect tense. Well, present perfect tense. First of all, discuss about present perfect tense. We are going to study about the use of helping verb, which is has and have. We are using in present perfect tense. What is the correct use and where we have to use this present perfect tense? For example, we are using these has and have as an helping verb in the present perfect tense because there is main verb in the sentence which is third form of verb. Present perfect is the third form of verb we are using which is past participle. Okay. Has have. We use has and have according to the subject in the sentence. How? If the subject of the sentence is he, she, it or any singular noun, place, person, thing, whatever. It means that third person Singular. With the third person singular, we use has. And have we use with I, we, you, they, or more than one noun in a plural form. I and we, they are first person, you is the second person, and they, or plural noun, is the third person plural. So we use with these subjects, when these are the subjects, we use has with these subjects and have with these subjects. Now what is present perfect tense? Well, this present perfect tense is the tense in which we can say that the work which has been done recently or in the present time. For example, I'm giving you an example of it. I so tell me which helping verb we have to use over here. Yes, we have to use have. I have. Okay, let's quote another example over here. If I say she, so tell me that which helping verb we have to use. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's over here. So she, we have to use has. She has. So now let's make a sentence, complete sentence of first. For example, I have washed, I have washed a movie. I have watched a movie. Second, she has. She has subject and with the subject or according to the subject we use helping verb. Now use the third form of verb which is past participle. Third form of verb is she has b o u g h t. She has bought a beautiful dress. So as you can see that in the second sentence, I have used she has with the third, per, third form of verb and with the object. We can use present perfect where the work has been done recently or there is not much duration in that work and your completion of work. And in the sentences, for example, I have watched the movie two hours before, one hour before. I have watched the movie so I can say that I have watched the movie. Now I am not in a mood to watch another movie. For example, yes, she has bought a beautiful dress. Now she does not want to buy another one. So in this sentence, you can see in the both sentences I have mentioned that we have done something or in the second sentence you can also see that she has done something. Well, in the both sentences you can see and whenever you want to make negative sentence, always use not after this helping verb and if you want to make interrogative just 
put your helping verb before the subject and it will be changed into interrogative let's see guys in the more if you want to ask any question you can but what you need to do you have to practice the sentences and write down the sentence and change this sentence into negative and interrogative that in this way you are able to make the sentences into negative and interrogative thank you very much